so Alabama, they won the toss. They have deferred. Mississippi State will be receiving the kick from Jamie Christensen, who was at the Naval Prep School last year. Jonathan Lowe and Tyler Threadgill back for the Bulldogs, and we're underway. Going to be brought out now by Lowe. Lowe fumbles it, picks it up at the 5, up to the 10, 15, and stumbles out to the 18-yard line. And not only are those players statistical leaders, but they were emotional leaders. And, Gary, that puts more pressure on Alabama's defense. It really does. And here's Jarius Norwood, the running back, who has been sensational the last three weeks for Mississippi State. Last year, catching 14 passes with a wide receiver, now throwing the football. Second down, at three yards to go. Connor, there's the rollout we were talking about. He makes the connection. The catch is made. And running out with this T. Millens. And Millens has a first down. So the Bulldogs are getting good field position here at the get-go. Hand off Norwood against the grain. 45, 40. He's to the 30, to the 25, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Mississippi State. What a play by Norwood who's gained 540 yards in the last three weeks. What a beginning to this football game. From the 30 now, the Crimson title set it up. Pennington gets off to Kenneth Darby. Darby replacing the injured Ray Hudson, and he brings it across the 35 to the 37. They're getting the safeties involved, and it looks like they're going to put the game on the shoulders of Pennington. Bo Freeland will pump the football to Jonathan Lowe. Lowe's going to let it hit. It takes an Alabama bounce. Lowe takes it inside the 15, trying to get wide. This guy's not very big either. He's... Well, you come out of an off week, and, and he talked about the first two or three series where his defense getting used to the speed of a game situation once again. There's a handoff to Norwood straight ahead. He pounds it across the 25 to the 27-yard line. The insertion of Brian Anderson at the left guard, as well as this offense line, getting healthy over the last three or four weeks has really keyed Jarius Norwood's uh, tremendous job at the tailback position. And Fred Reed comes in replacing Norwood. You can't duplicate that in practice during a two-week two period. Very good point. Jared Cook to pump the football for Mississippi State. Brandon Brooks goes back for Alabama, and they're going to work the ball at the 25-yard line. Third down, 10, three wideouts. Spencer Pennington back to throw the football. Long throw, completes it. Keith Brown, he is a true freshman, and his forward progress very close to the first down out to the 34. Freeland to punt again. Out of Utah, Alabama, standing at the 21-yard line. Jonathan Lowe going back deep for Mississippi State. Lowe coming up on the ball, lets it hit. It's going to take a Mississippi State bounce and die at the 29-yard line. This is a big play here. Third down and nine, the big play you're talking about. Connor gets a block, gets outside, throws it, he completes it, and that'll be a first down grab, and that's going to be Will Prosser. He has to come out and have really close to a perfect football game. He's played well thus far. There's a little half roll. He gets it out. He completes the ball, and it's going to be his tight end, and that tight end is Desmond Sherrod, only his third catch of the year. Third down, three yards to go. Connor giving off to Norwood, and Norwood very close to the first down. Let's see where they're going to mark it. They'll mark it at the Alabama end of the field. Looks like he'd be at least a yard short. And when you're on top, seven to nothing, that helps as well. They're going to pooch this one, try to keep it in the field of play. Brooks lets it hit, but it's going to go in for the touchback. So at the 20, Alabama will get it. From the 20-yard line now, here comes Spencer Pennington on a rollout. He completes the pass to his big tight end, David Cavan, his first catch of the season. And Cavan's got a first down and then some across the 30 to the 32. Alabama has the fewest completions of any team in the SEC. It looks like the Blitz may be coming on a third down. Pennington throwing and going up high, coming down with a great catch. Remarkable catch that time. First down at the 47. Ezekiel Knight's seventh catch of the year. Here's Darby. Bouncing outside across the 50. He's going to make it to the 40-yard line of Mississippi State. Third down and four now from the 35-yard line. Darby, the single running back. McLean comes in motion to the fullback. Darby trying to bounce to the outside, fighting forward. Needed to get to the 31-yard line. He's very close. A senior, one of the leaders on this team. Go so after the first down, handoff Darby. Darby's got a hole. 30, 
25 breaks a tackle to 20 for the 15. Darby's going to be knocked out of bounds at the nine yard line. Brian Boskick. 24-yard field goal attempt. He's been good this year, 10 of 13. Tough angle for a right-footed kicker on the right hash. Alex Fox will hold the ball. The kick is on the way. The kick is up, and Alabama's on the scoreboard. Connor gets the read. Green first across the 25 to the 30, and that's a first down. He's not very big. Let's go now to Matt Weiner once again. Joe Kimes, they were ready to run him out of town last year. Now this year, they want him to run for well, president, but the presidential race is already over. Yeah, well, they don't understand football. Here's Cook punting away. Brandon Brooks is going to have a return up to the 25, and he goes sideways and is dropped at the 28-yard line. During the return, illegal block in the back, number 44 on the return team. The field is 10 yards from the end of the run. First down, Alabama. We could see some shuffling between the number two and three slot. Second down, 10. Pitch comes to Darby. Darby's got the corner. To the 25. To the 30. Against the grain. To the 40. The 45. To the midfield strike. And he's eventually caught and run out of bounds by David Hurd. That's his longest run of the season. He had a 35-yard run previous to the right hand up there. And John's a true freshman who has a burst. And he takes it to the 21 spot. McLean will go in motion. First down now at the 21-yard line of the Bulldogs. Here's Tyrone Prothrows in the backfield. Takes the snap to the 10. Five. Touchdown, Alabama. Great work downfield by Keith Brown. Boy, when March came around that corner, I don't blame anybody getting out of his way. Here's Norwood now trying to get Mississippi State back up and running after they fall behind for the first time. He brings it out to the 27. But Mike Shula, with all the talk about who was going to be the head coach here, it puts some pressure on him for this game as well. Here's a handoff Norwood, and Norwood got the first down on a third and less than a yard. Across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Millers comes in motion. Connor Gibbs to Norwood. Bends it outside. Trying to get a block. He's got one to the 40, and he's very close to the first down as he gets close to the 39. Yeah, he should have just rim. planted his foot and got the first yeah, down. and he did. So it's third down, less than a yard to go. They're going to get to Norwood, and he easily gets a first down as he's able to get out to the 48-yard line. They welcomed him back. And what a difference he makes in this Bulldog offensive machine. And he's going to roll out. Trying to buy time, and he's going to be carried. What a play by Antonio Bryant. Also there, very quickly on the play, was help from Wallace Gilberry. Jared Cook, who leads the SEC in punting, will punt away. Brandon Brooks is back deep for Alabama. Well hit. Takes the Mississippi State bounce all the way to the 15. That's a very good punt. First down now after that 55-yard punt by Mississippi State. And here comes Darby around the corner. He already has 104 yards rushing. And he's going to be knocked out of bounds across the 20 to the 21-yard line. He points out so adamantly how sport has contributed to the social change required all over the country. So here is uh, Pennington handing off to Darby again. Darby on a second down and three. So we have a first down now for the Tide. Pennington going deep, trying to get one long to Keith Brown. He comes back, makes it there. He's got it at the 31. Now they've completed that deep pass. That aren't readily available if they're covering tight. Darby with 129 yards, adds to his total, got the first down, stays on his feet to the 15. Thanks, Bill. Really interesting stuff. First down 10 now at the 14-yard line. Here's Darby again. He's going to take it in. Touchdown. Darby explodes up the middle. His second touchdown of the night. Mississippi State's going to have to loosen things up. Here is Connor. Maybe this is what you're talking about. He's going deep. Far side. Ball up. And it's T. Millen's the intended receiver. So you had that one called, David. They just didn't make the connection. You can see now, uh, here's what's happening. Holding on the offense, number 77. Filling his 10 yards from the previous spot. Replay second down. See if they're going to come after now. The punter. 
The punter, Jared Cook, gets it underway. Brooks is back at the 40 of Alabama. He's up to the 50, breaks one tackle. And a little 5-4 speedster able to bring it to the 45. So he'll be back next year. Now, he and Pennington are the best of buddies. They go hunting and fishing together all the time. Here is Pennington now from the shotgun, throwing up the field. Tyrone Grover, the intended receiver, is picked up. It's picked up by Kevin Dockery. And Dockery brings it back the other way. So a big play for them was that 50-yard run by Jarius Norwood. Third down now, eight yards to go, over the middle, and McKinley Scott has to go down to get the ball, or he might have had a lot of running room as he's gonna be down at the 49. He's about a yard short of the first down. So they're gonna go for it on fourth down after the timeout. Fourth down and a yard to go. Connors gets up, and there's nothing, nothing going. Connors stuck on a fourth down, and the big guy, Bryant, was there in the hole. Roach was there as well. Pennington with his drop, throwing far side. The catch is made by Crowthrow. He'll go out of bounds. He'll stop the clock as he gets to the 42. And a good job by Prothrow with a quick move to dart out of bounds. Holding on the offense, number 79. Field is 10 yards from the previous spot. Replay first down. So now it'd be awfully hard to throw one to the end zone 60 yards away as they give off to Darby, and that's going to bring us to the end of the first half of play. So... Mississippi State struck first. They let it 7 to nothing. Then 17 unanswered points. And this guy, KD, Kenneth Darby, was huge. 19 for 150. 7.9 yard average for Darby. Filling in for the injured Ray Hudson and doing it in a remarkable way. Taylor in the last three games has averaged almost 44 yards a punt. He had 450 plus. Big rush. He got it underway. Jonathan Lowe comes up, makes a fair catch. And he'll have it just across the 45. Good field position. Connor now 4 of 12 for only 48 yards passing. Third down 10. The Bulldogs need a conversion here. He's going to scramble for it. He comes across the 50. He's going to get the first down. He dives to the 42, and that's what he does best. And on a third and 10, they're able to convert. They have a first down now at the 42-yard line. Norwood tries to bend it against the green, trying to get outside. He's to the 35, to the 30, and a play that looked like nothing at the beginning ends up being a first down run. Reed kind of holding his side on that last play. He's going to get the ball. Nope, fake by Connor throwing up the field. The ball is up, and touchdown T. Millens. He got behind him, went up, 28-yard touchdown strike. And Connor, who had really been struggling, laid the ball over Ramsey Robinson and in for six points. Millens, who was in the doghouse earlier the year with Sylvester Croom, certainly climbing out of it with that. Here is Darby now running the ball for the Tide. Brings it out to the 33-yard line. Slovakia Griffith over to make the tackle for Mississippi State. They won back-to-back -back SEC games for the first time since 2000. And now sneaking it forward is Pennington. And he's got the first down. There is a flag, though, at the 36-yard line at the line of scrimmage. You know, with a 10-point with a lead, offsides against Mississippi State. So Alabama will move the chains. But Seven and a half minutes to go in the third. 17-14, Alabama with the lead. Pennington wanting to throw. He's got time. Go for his guy to the 45. Breaks the tackle to the 40. And the little guy's going to be slammed down at the 36. Dead ball. First of the foul, late hit, number 25 on the defense. The is 15 yards from the succeeding spot. Slovakia Griffin. It's a pretty good catch by Hall. He just couldn't get it down to the back of the end zone. Here's Bostic's kick. He's got a lot of leg, and he finds the mark. So Alabama comes back with three of their own. Running his coach all time, Don Schulip, and... Uh, I'm sure that uh, he's watching this game tonight. Connor being flushed out of the pocket. He's going to run. This is oh, what a hit. As he goes down at the 15, I mean, Andrews has been all over the place. Four yards to go. They snap it back. Gandalf comes to Reed, and Reed, did he get the first down? It looks like he may have it. He needed to get to the 20-yard line. Bill, you've been talking about these punts now from Cook. They've been trying to line Cook's drives. been kicking them low. He's averaging 49 yards, but one of them's going to come back at him, and there's another one. Yep, Brandon Brooks comes up on the fly, fumbles it, goes down, lost it. The ball is loose. Mississippi State scrambling for it at the 40, and they've got it. 
Oh, what a big break for the Bulldogs. I think that David Stewart really was the instigator in that play. At some point, you gotta, you got to stop after the whistle, and David Stewart was a good two or three counts late. On third down, 10, Connor, play action. Being flushed out, he's dropped all the way back to the 50-yard line. And that is one of the Brent brothers. Cook, after beam bench, came back and was a SEC Special Teams Player of the Week against Florida in that upset. Now he hits one off the side of his foot, shanks it, and we'll see where they're going to mark this one. And they're going to bring it out across the 30. They're still walking to the 35, and to the 36 is where Alabama will inherit the football. Somebody lost their helmet on the deal. They're up by five. Cal, as we told you earlier, escaped to Oregon 28-26. Thank you, Matt. Well, Ron McLean bursts up the middle, hit by Gabe O'Neill. The ball came out, but it was uh, down by contact. McLean not a bad fallback position. He is a very good football player. First down now at the 47-yard line. Darby again. Darby chucking forward. He'll be slamming down at the 47 of Mississippi State. A showdown in the SEC. On a second down now, handoff to Darby. Darby's going to get the first down. Still on his feet. Across the 40 to the 38-yard line of Mississippi State. Looking, being flushed, throws up the field, and the catch is made. A remarkable grab by D.J. Hall, the true freshman. Of course, they'll try to meet that representative from, from the South for the Big 12 Championship. Here's Pennington being flushed out. He just gets rid of this ball, throws it into the nickel seat says now they're going to call grounding right. he didn't get outside the tackle box boy that could be a big penalty in this game probably took him out of field goal range ej hall has come back into the wide receiver spot pennington going deep ball up hall is there under thrown and the ball is going to be intercepted picked up by david hurd he went up a jump ball and hurd came down with it a big play. They're going to have the ball at about the three-yard line. They're going to have a good hold up if they do a good job. Here is Cook with the punt. It's top, It's Brothrow back. Coming to the near side. Tyrone Brothrow to the 50. He's got a hit of steam at the 40. The 35. Spins. Fights his way to the 35. And that's where Alabama will have it. Hemington to Darby. Darby. 35 to the 30. Makes an arm tackle and is able to slug it forward to about the 26, maybe the 27. Tay, he is a load back there. They list him at 258. They say he's under 250. I don't know. Here's a handoff to Kirby. And again, they're going to shut it down. Tay, Mississippi State's been tough in the trenches. That's Fields again. Let's go to Matt Weiner. And now we're going to have a field goal attempt by Bostic. This will be an attempt of 47 yards. Bostic has hit two. 24 and 34 yards. At the start of the night, he was 10 of 13. His long for the season has been 47. This kick is on the way, and the kick has a chance, and the kick is good. Christensen will be kicking off. Jonathan Lowe, along with Tyler Threadgill, will go back for the Bulldogs. It's going to be low at the goal line. He's going to bring it out to the 10, to the 15. And the little guy is able to get to the 18, and that's it. During the return, holding on the return team, number 31. The field is half the distance to the goal. First down, Mississippi State. He's having to coach this game, having just learned this afternoon that his father has passed away. We're so, so sorry. Wow. And here is a play where Fred Reed has fumbled the ball, and Alabama has recovered. They come up with it. It is Gilberry with the fumble recovery. Over 90% scoring ratio, but not very good in touchdowns. Only 19 times. And there's a play action by Pennington throwing it. He caught it. Touchdown. The fullback McLean beautifully executed. Pennington with a beautiful play action fake. And leaking out of the backfield is McLean. And that is his second touchdown catch of the season. Then they go to play Ole Miss in their final game of the season. Back to throw is Connor. He's going to double it off to Norwood. Makes a catch up to the 25 to the 30. And that's the first positive game they've had in some time. How about Arizona State? They were shut out last week by California. They've come back, haven't they? Andrew Walder and company. Back to throw, Connor. 
Connor over the middle, and it's McKinley Scott makes the catch at the 50, breaks the tackle to the 45, and so there's still some fight left in this Bulldog team. 28-yard pickup to McKinley Scott, who's been battling a hamstring most of the season. Connor's going to be sacked this time. He had no chance. He looked up, and a lot of red shirts in his face. Yeah, the pocket closed in on him in a hurry. Second and 16 now for Connor. Omar in trouble again. Trying to get out of the jam. And down he goes. They lead it 30 to 14. We come back fourth down and 21 now for the Bulldogs of Mississippi State. Connor's going to air this one out. Ball up and uh, really was out of the field of play. Millens was the intended receiver, I think. He wasn't negative. He came back and got better. Yeah, he's talking about he chewed him out in front of the team, and he responded the way he hoped he would. Here comes Johns, the uh, true freshman carrying the ball. So Mississippi State now will have lost 16 consecutive games in SEC play on the road. I mean, they have been impressive. Hand off again to Johns. Johns trying to get wide, staying inbound, spins to the 30, and he has a first down. Let's look ahead now for the tie. They have two games left. Don't forget his fullback, McLean, and those big guys, Tatum, March, Klausner, Mathis, and Britt. Great job of blocking all night. Spoken like a true offensive lineman. Hey, you're not going to leave <laughs> through and through. Out. Not if I'm up here. <laughs> I want to thank uh, our spotter, Rick Baker, as uh, Kirk McCauley was in charge of all the stats. Josh Hoffman, our producer, John McDonough, our director. Excellent job, guys. Thanks. As we come to the end of this one, and Alabama now is bowl eligible, coming off of probation. They were not a year ago. Sylvester Kroom, he'll retool. But you know the way his team has been playing so hard as he meets with Joe Kynes. His team will be a handful as his tenure continues.